Okay, I came across an unusual one. Um, I've already got it up and running, but let me undo this so I can show you how it was. So I hooked up an external power supply. That's what these extra cables coming in from the side over here are. Because this computer would turn on immediately after being plugged in, which is a little unusual, um, but then no video. Um, ended up troubleshooting it down to the power supply as the most likely culprit, which is this guy right here. And it's, a, it's an unusual power supply is what it comes down to. It's got a six pin that comes from the power supply that goes into the motherboard there. And it's got two four pins over here that plug in. Then for the drives, it comes off the motherboard and then any like two and a half inch or three and a half inch drives, anything to, to be powered comes off the motherboard instead of the power supply. This is kind of similar to the, the way Dell and HP do some of their machines. Although theirs, it's typically a eight pin instead of a six here and then a single four for the processor up here at the top. Um, but let me plug this in. So right now it's, it's, uh, it's completely disconnected from the motherboard and graphics card. Plug this in. So it comes on right away, just the fan in here. I'm not sure if y'all can hear this. It's a pop, 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 real quick. And that is an electrical arc inside the power supply. That's why I went and tried to replace it. The issue is this power supply and uh, these connectors are very non-standard and replacement power supplies that would fit in here, people were asking 200 plus for them um, on eBay and Amazon and things like that, which is ridiculous. What I did to work around the problem is I got a 24 pin to six pin adapter so I can use a standard power supply. And then it's got power for the graphics card. If they ever do have solid or drives in here that aren't uh, that are two and a half, it's got it's got these for connecting those. And two four pins for the CPU. So I just had it up and running. I need to take the power supply out of here so I can get this uh, replacement installed. Okay, so this uh, these two uh, four pin plugs are going underneath the graphics card. That's a bit of a bummer. That's okay, I'll take it out. It's held in place by a couple of screws over here. The graphics card is just this part right here and then Acer, the menu, or sorry, Asus, or who made this? What is this, Acer, yes. Acer put on this uh, little kind of extension board. It's kind of like a back plate, but not really. But it comes over here and then it's screwed into the case. So it makes the whole thing a, a lot more stable. Less likely to move around during shipping. I also need to reach in here and press this little eject button down here. That lets the graphics card come out, otherwise it's locked in place. All right, up and out. Okay, and now that gets me access to the cabling. And got some kind of a, a clip here. All right, I just pulled on it and it popped. That worked. It didn't break, just uh, the thing opened up. Okay, where else are these guys? Yeah, okay, we got a, a couple of zip ties here I need to cut away.
Another one right here. Just a little plastic tie. Okay, so there's the power supply that's failed. And that's just the cables that came with it. Yeah, so the, the 24 pin power goes into this adapter and that's how the uh, the six pin gets powered. And then the other two are around, let's see. Okay, so there's there's a, um, a vent at the bottom. So I'm going to make it so that the power supply fan is kind of facing it. So this will draw cool air in from the bottom and then put it at the back after it's heated up a bit. Yeah, I figured this would be a tight fit. That. Come over here and find the screw holes. So I got one there, I think. There it goes. It, it, it barely fit past that little black uh, piece of uh, piece of metal. There it goes. Locked it in. And there's the holes. Need to change the power on this back to low torque. All right. Let's see about these cables. So that's for the graphics card. There's the two fours. So these I'm probably going to go underneath the graphics card with. I might, no, this will work better. Coming over here for these two guys. Okay, there's one. And here comes the second one. These are for the CPU. So then this will come over and clip into one of these guys. The 24 might kind of put down like this. Hmm, maybe down in there. And then over would be the way to go. Yeah, let's do that. Then we got a, a lot of extra cables. These are all for basically drives that aren't in this computer. And I'm gonna set them right down in here. If they ever did put in a two and a half or a three and a half inch drive, that's where the cables would need to be anyway. And here's more. <laughs> so much. Okay, so CPU has power, motherboard has power. Graphics card, we will put right back in here push it into the slot put that up put the screws in to keep the graphics card in place
we can plug in the graphics card. So it goes like that, kind of pushed together. There it goes. And so now it's already got a, a mouse connected. I can hook it up to graphics and a power cable. Turn on the main power switch. I'm gonna come over here and press the main power button. And it's gonna boot into Windows. There it is. So yeah, if your power supply goes out and you've got a an Acer computer with a six pin power plug on the motherboard and then two more four pins for the CPU, uh, I'll put a, a link in the video to this adapter. It was only about 13 bucks. And then the power supply, it's, you know, whatever wattage uh, you have that you can put in that'll support the graphics card and everything else. This 550 will do a good job with this uh, graphics card and processor. I wonder how much the wattage was on the original. 500. Says so right there. I mentioned that HP and Dell also do this, but they have 8 pin instead of 4 down here um, for their systems. I'll put a link in the description of the video to that adapter as well. It's about the same cost. It's just that it's an eight pin um, adapter versus the, uh, the six here. I think I may have one. Yes, I do. I have two. Yeah. So it's 24 to eight instead of 24 to six. Thanks for watching.